in the kitchen. Not in the kitchen. It's not in the kitchen. Not in the kitchen. What we're whipping in the pots and we're serving great dishes. It's not in the kitchen. Not in the kitchen. Yeah, it's mama in the kitchen whipping up the dishes. You already know. Knock it off. I'm not the... I'm not a rapper. No. Oh, okay. Bye, guys. What's up, everybody, and welcome to another episode of My In The Kitchen. Quick news edition with your girl, Lexi Pooh. Make sure you like, subscribe, bing, hit that bell to be notified, and leave your comment down below. Y'all, let's talk about it. Hold on. Y'all like that? Do you like it, though? Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait. Let me let me make sure I get a picture. Do you, do you feel me though? No, I'm just kidding. I, I can show y'all a video on how I got my hair like this. Do y'all like it? I know y'all do. I'm feeling it, okay? I'm feeling her. Um, so today, y'all, we're gonna be making um sandwiches. Well, you know the little sandwiches? I know you always wonder how to make it. We're gonna be making the little um roll sandwiches, y'all. I'm gonna tell y'all everything y'all need. Any ham you like, I mean, any meat you like, it don't matter what kind of meat. I got oven roasted turkey breast, and I have deli style honey ham. I have two rolls, two packs of these. This is a 12 pack, the Sam's Choice, this is Sam's Choice Walmart version. Y'all know hashtag Walmart can sponsor us, anyways. Um, I have Imperial Butter, a bowl. My favorite knife, a bread knife, y'all. A spoon, sharp cheddar cheese, sliced Swiss cheese, minced garlic, Italian seasoning, parsley flakes. And ground black pepper. That's everything that y'all need. I'm going to wash my hands and then we're going to get started. Okay, y'all. So now we're back. I already washed my hands. Let's get your sleeves rolled up. Okay, so first thing you're going to do is you're going to preheat your oven to 375. Let me do that. Period. It's done. Get you a flat pan and put a, a, a piece of foil on. You don't need to spray this with no pan or nothing like that. Just put a piece of foil on a flat pan. Done. Grab your pack of rolls. Open your pack of rolls. I made me a little uh, trash bag right here, y'all. A little hack. Put a bag on your, uh, like, like, open your drawer a little bit and put a bag on your drawer. I'm going to show y'all. Hold on. Oh, stay with it. So, open your drawer like this, y'all. Hold on. Let me reverse the camera. So, open your drawer like this and put a bag right here, like, on your door. Push it on there. And then close the door. Now you got your trash bag. You ain't even know it. So you ain't got to go all the way to the trash can. Hold on. Let me get y'all back together. Okay. Y'all good? Okay, let me come back a little bit. Hold on. Let me get y'all together. Because I'm recording myself now, y'all. So y'all got to bear with me. Okay, I'll be good now. Y'all liking the two-piece? Hold on. I know y'all like that. Right. Walmart again. I, I'm telling you. that. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. I'm telling y'all I got this. Y'all ready? Family Dollar. Boom. Bomb drop. Y'all ain't gonna Family Dollar, y'all. Family dollar, baby. Make a girl. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Right. Anyway, so grab your roll out. Now, some people do this. Can y'all see me? Grab your bread knife just like this. And you're going to look at the side. It's your bread. So you're getting it right in the half mark. So, so like right there. Okay? Make sure you're doing it in half. You don't want your buns to be this big and your bottom to be that big. Right. So make sure you're getting it on the half mark. Just like that. And you hold hold your bread. Press a little firmly. Don't press hard enough to squash your bread. Just press a little firmly, y'all. So. Okay. So that's good. Okay. So look, y'all. Look at my bottom. And then look at my top. Y'all see that? Now, I do mine different. Some people do this just like this. And then they just um put the meat, put the cheese. I don't do mine like that. I'm going to show you how I do it. So I move my meat to the side. Flip your bag inside out like this. So you got the good, clean part on the outside, okay? Lay it to the side like that, y'all. So to the side, just like this. Uh, then put put your um your roll on there. 
See that? So put it on there. Okay, y'all, I'm back. I'm sorry, I was getting started without y'all. Okay, so what you're gonna do is now that you got your meat out your packet, I already cut it once. So look. So that's a whole slice like that. This is the long slices you can get. Um, see how I'm just cutting the hair? Y'all see that? See? And some of the slices you will want bigger than the other one. So you just cut it just like that. To make it sandwich size. And then look, we got the cheese right here. Okay, now I do my cheese different. Do this one, huh? Hold on, y'all. Let me, I'm checking. Sometimes the reason why, okay, I'm going to tell you, some of these have paper. Like the other one, the super sharp cheddar, it has paper in the middle of it. I'm going to tell you how you're going to get your, first of all, this cheese ain't going to fit together because they got holes in it. So all you're doing is just like this. Black them. You're cutting it in four, stacking it on top, putting it to the side. There you go, just like that. Just like that. <laughs> I know y'all like that. Cutting it in four. Imagine the other way, uh, with, with, um, with paper in, in between each slice, you can't do this today. Because if you do this today, you'll have a whole bunch of shredded paper slices. And you'll think that, oh, well, you could just pull the paper out. No, I tried that. The paper is not evenly lined up with the cheese. You'll see what I'm talking about. And you'll see how you'll end up with a whole bunch of little shreds. <laughs> yeah. And so all I'm doing is separating it. So when I start to make my uh, my sandwiches, it's going to be easier for me to um, for me to build them. Okay, so put that to the side. Now it's time to get to building. Let me go down some more steps. Okay, we good. We good there? Hold on, maybe I should get a check for y'all. See if I can see that. Hold on one second. Hold on. Okay, y'all, I'm back. Watch this. Black it. Me. <laughs> do you feel me though? You didn't even know I was gonna do that. Okay, roll your sleeves up, y'all. So you're gonna grab. Some people do their whole roll, the whole thing at one time. Like some people put this whole thing on there, like this, and they just do the whole thing. Uh-uh, I don't do that. I make every sandwich individually. You wanna know why I make every sandwich individually? So all your cheese don't melt together. It's real hard to pull apart. I don't do it like that. So here we go. So make a row, y'all. So bottoms at the bottom, tops at the top. So we're gonna do, go in with a slice of cheese on every slice, on every piece. So just like that, get your ham. I mean your turkey, just turkey. So these gonna be all turkey, y'all. Put a slice, oh, hold on. Put a slice on every one. Get your cheese, slice, slice, slice. Ha -ha. I'm not playing with you now. The reason why I call him that is because he used to poop all over my house when I first got him. Okay, just like that. Y'all see that? Put your lid on. Okay. And then you're going to put them on your tray. Is your tray. You can put them all the way in the corner. I think all 24 is going to fit on this one thing, on this one tray. We're going to see. So just like this. Just like that. Put them all on it. Y'all see that? Okay. Okay, y'all. I'm back. I'm already done with all the, uh, the Swiss and turkey. See? I'm done with those. Now it's time for the ham and cheese. Before you do the ham and cheese... Grab your bowl, grab your spoon, grab your butter. Be quiet, boy. Get you a nice lot of margarine. I keep saying butter, y'all. This is margarine. It's a difference. So there we go. Put it up in a bowl just like that. Your minced garlic. I say about a teaspoon, y'all. Your Italian seasoning. Parsley. I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like. And pepper. Pepper. Y'all see that? Ooh. Okay, so that's how it look. Okay, so y'all, I put it in the microwave on one minute. If that ain't enough, put it on like another. Keep doing like 10 second intervals. If one minute not enough, I'm gonna tell y'all mine was enough. You can say I use about a half a cup of butter. Okay, so so there we go. Here we go. I got my stuff lined up again. Let me get down though. Get down the all the way to the oven without the way. So what I was showing, what I was showing y'all about the cheese is just the cheese. See how you break the cheese? Okay. Now watch. If you cut that in half, just don't do that, y'all. Just don't do that. Okay. Even though this takes longer, just cut the slices individually, y'all. Just cut them individually. Okay. The microwave just went off. I'm about to tell y'all. I'm a finna. I'm not slaying. I'm sorry. I'm about to tell y'all if it's done. I just went from finna to about to. <laughs> Okay. Oh my God. Okay. And some of these slices be real thin. So you gotta put two slices on one. Like say even though you're supposed to put one slice, you gotta put two. Because some of them be thicker than the other, some of them be thinner than the other. You gotta go, you're just cutting your cheese. Cut the cheese. But we cutting it in the way though. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna cut up this and I'm gonna cut up my turkey and I'll be right back. My bad y'all, my hand. I told y'all I'm off today. My hand. Okay, y'all, I'm back. I put my uh butter on another 30 seconds. Okay, here we go. 
cheese, 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 meat, 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 cheese, cheese, cheese. I'm putting another piece of that cheese is thin. You can feel it in your hand how thin the cheese is. Sometimes it be like that. I know you like how, but sometimes it be like that. Okay, here we go. See that? And it's gonna melt and get all gooey, ooey gooey, ooey gooey. And they're gonna be delicious and no trash. Yes. Okay, so I just showed y'all how to make it. Hold on, let me show y'all my butter. It smells good, y'all. There we go. See that? Stir your butter. Stir your butter. It's like guns and butter, baby. I'm telling y'all, I'm gonna be an actor one day, I'm telling you. See that? See that? Oh yeah. All right, y'all. I'm gonna finish making these sandwiches. I'll come back when I put the the mix on top. All right. Okay, so y'all, I'm back. You remember my butter? They all done. Y'all, close shot. They all done. So I'm just taking my butter. And you gonna really dip it all the way into the bottom with your little grill brush. Y'all, if you don't want to do this, you could just lightly drizzle this on top of your, um, yo, the sliders. Y'all see that? I'm going to give y'all a, a, a top view when I'm done. You don't want to put too much when you make the bread soggy, but you do want to coat the top really well, y'all. And then these probably go in the oven on 375 maybe bell effect for like 10 to 15 minutes. Just keep an eye on it. All you're really waiting on to do is for your cheese to melt, y'all. Okay, let me get y'all a top view of it. See that? All you really waiting on to do is your cheese. See how my cheese not melted? Obviously, it's not melted, y'all, but that's all you waiting on. All right, y'all. They are all done. Y'all see that? You want a little firm. Y'all hear that? You want a little firm top. They are all done. Mama, yeah, baby, we got a problem. What's the problem? The everybody film, they ain't liking, they ain't commenting, they ain't subscribing, they ain't even sharing the video so it can be a blessing to somebody else. They keeping the recipes all to themselves. What? Now that's the coldest one. Okay, but what you gonna do about that though? Hold that thought. Hold that thought. Mama, who are you calling? Ghostbusters. What is Ghostbusters gonna do? They're gonna bust them up.